The power of Christ is so very, very important. It begins as salvation, and then it's needed as you live the Christian life. John Hagee talks about various aspects of the Christian life in his book called The Three Heavens, Angels, Demons, and What Lies Ahead. In fact, he talks about this third heaven where Susan, you and I, all who know Christ, will experience eternity and rest and worship. Here's John Hagee in a recent conversation I had with him talking about the third heaven. The third heaven is where God rules, where Jesus is, where there are archangels, seraphims, cherubims, where all of the righteous go. Jesus said to the thief on the cross, this day you will be with me in paradise. So paradise and the third heaven are one and the same. There are many people who are listening to this telecast who believe that there's some interary, intermediate place where you go. Not so. Your last breath here is your first breath there. In heaven. Wherever it is you're going. Yeah, or. <laughs> are the, yeah, or are the other place. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so uh, the, the thief on the cross was the first one to go through the gates of heaven by the blood of Jesus Christ. But the third heaven is where God the Father rules, where his son is, where all the angels, where all the saints of God are, where the mansions have been created by the architect of the ages for every believer. The architect of the ages, the creator of the universe, the one who went away to prepare a place for us, all of that is heaven. Heaven awaits us, but there is a precious price that was paid in order for us to experience heaven, experience the forgiveness of sin. To spend eternity with God meant that Jesus Christ gave his life for us on the cross. Three days later, after that death, he rose again. He lives today and forevermore. And right now, he sits at the right hand of the Father in that third heaven. There's so much of that and more material related to the biblical truth of the three heavens by John Hagee. Thousands of you have called this month. We're grateful. The window's closing now as June ends. 